Welcome to On the Trail. I'm Steve Evans. Every week I answer a number of emails regarding the titanium snow stakes that I sell on my website. In particular, people are concerned with the price of them. Now they're expensive to make and the price isn't going down, but what I'm going to do in today's episode is show you how to make your own set using household tools. The titanium snow stakes that you can purchase on the Sulik 46 website are made from titanium 6AL4V sheet in a thickness of 0.016 inches or 16 thousandths of an inch. And what it's done is it's put into a machine where a jet of water cuts the profile and it looks like this. When the water jet is complete cutting the profiles of the titanium snow stakes, I'm left with a number of pieces looking like this. I then take a piece of sandpaper and deburr all the edges because they're a little bit sharp. Afterwards, I mark the three spots where I want to put bends and I use a small press brake to implement these bends, which looks like this. When the bending is complete, I'm left with something like this. And what I do is I then use a buffing wheel to remove any of the marks or any remaining small burrs. And the finished product looks like this. Now the titanium snow stakes that you're going to make with me today are not going to look identical, but they're going to have similar performance, slightly heavier weight, but most importantly, they're going to be a fraction of the cost. Let's get started. Assuming you're going to be making more than one snow stake, you don't want to make a template. It's going to be a little easier to trace out on the titanium and maximize the use of your material so you don't have too much scrap remaining. So, a ruler, a piece of cardboard or Bristol board, Sharpie, and a pair of scissors is all you need. The snow stakes actually measure three and a half inches wide and five and a half inches long. So the first thing we're going to do is make a rectangle. And that'll be the starting of your template right there. Next step is to measure 1.75 inches up each side. And this is going to be the corners of the starting of your chamfer. And also put a center mark at 1.75 along the bottom. This will allow you to connect the dots. And create your profile. At this point, you're going to need to cut it out. And you're left with this. In order to cut the profile of the titanium snow stake, you're going to use your template that you just made, a sharpie, a pair of tin snips, and some sandpaper. What you're going to want to do is, on your titanium, place it down. You don't necessarily need to use tape or anything like that, and just trace all the way around. I've actually already cut mine out, but what I do here is I have some scrap, and I'll show you how easy it is to actually cut this stuff using one of these tools. So, once complete, you remove your profile, and what you're going to want to see, you're going to see what I did is smooth the corners out a bit. It's going to help you from catching your gloves or any clothing on, uh, on there. And as soon as you've done that, you're going to see it's a little bit rough. You're going to want to take your sandpaper, both sides. going to leave a nice smooth edge. Make sure you do that really well all the way around. At this point you've got the entire profile done and what you need to do is you need to put a couple of holes in here in order for you to run your guy line through or a carabiner of some sort. Now you know that there's going to be a bend right down the middle so if you take your ruler and start marking it out 
Grab your center line, which is going to be at 1.75 inches, and half an inch on each side of your center line, I mark a spot. And this is going to be roughly half an inch down. And these two areas right here are where you're going to put your holes. In order to put your holes through a piece of titanium like this, you're going to need to use not a hole puncher because it's not going to work, but something like this. You can pick this up at your local hardware store for probably $20. If not, you can also use a manual punch or a ha hammer punch, um, but I just find this a little bit easier. The other one. Now I've got two nice holes for your guy line to go through. Now that you're finished punching the holes for the guy lines, you're going to want to mark the area where the bends are going. It's three and a half inches wide, and we want three, three bends equally spaced. So your first bend, mark a dot at 0 0.875 inches. Mark your next one at 1.75 inches, and your last one at 2.625 inches. Do the same at the bottom. and draw the lines so that you can bend along them. Once you've drawn your bend lines on your titanium snow stake, it is time to bend it. Um, the metal is very tough. It's going to be very difficult to bend by hand, so you're going to have to use a mechanical apparatus of some sort. Uh, you could probably use a vise and a hammer or a couple two by fours fashioned in a way. Um, but what I'm going to show you is a small um, sheet metal brake that you can purchase at your local hardware store for between ten and twenty dollars. Harbor Freight comes to mind for you guys down in the States. Busy Beer Canadian Tire comes to mind for us in Canada here. Uh, here's a small sheet metal brake. <clears throat> like I said, this is pretty cheap to pick up. What you want to do is you want to line up your bend line with the crease in the brake. In this case we'll do the center one first. You're then going to apply the bar on top, add your C-clamps, and now we're ready to bend. It's important to remember that this is a do-it-yourself project and not a huge engineering feat, so we want to put about a 15 degree angle on that, and you're going to do that just by eye. So, we're going to bend, and look, we want to add a little bit more than that. That's probably good just like that. Again, we're going to do a 15 degree bend or so. <clears throat> That's probably good. And your last bend again, 10 to 15 degrees. That's probably good. Once your bending is complete, the only thing left to do if you're anal like me is you're going to want to remove all your little sharpie lines. You can use a piece of sandpaper to do that. Then, once it's all cleaned up and looking nice, this is what you're left with. And all you have to do is find out how much it weighs. At about 22 grams, you're looking at twice the weight of the snow stakes available on my website. However, they're going to be much cheaper for you to make. So I've gone through the process with you. If you need more than one, simply repeat the process. If you have any questions regarding where to get titanium, any of the tools I used, or if anything was unclear, I'm always available to answer your questions. Just shoot me an email. I'm Steve Evans, and I'll see you on the trail.